All right, it is media day. We are joined with the Tascacita head coach, Craig Stump. And coach, we ran out of districts here in Houston, so we're going to talk about playoffs. We're going to talk, and it's way too early to talk about playoffs, but we're going to talk about teams that might be dangerous come after 11 weeks of uh, regular season ball. Obviously, you're one of the teams that's going to be dangerous, you could mainly because you come from a dangerous district. I mean, the teams mm-hmm. in your district traditionally have gone three, four rounds deep. Talk about, let's just start off with your team and, and, and kind of the stuff that makes your Eagles kind of tough this year. Yeah, um, I think, you know, a lot of times in high school, it's you, you lose a certain side of the ball more than the other side a lot of times. I mean, like last year we were more experienced on defense than we were on offense, although we had some talented players on offense just from an experience standpoint. And this year it's kind of the opposite. Um, we're filling some holes on defense um with some really great players and then but our basically everybody back on offense and um uh, so you know hopefully there's a balance there but yeah you know uh, quarterback zion brown he's a 14-3 high hurdler and um third year to play and tory blaylock has been offered by everybody in the nation and he's a you know the running back nate kibble's a texas commit and um and then on the wide outside, we, you know, we have a lot of speed out there and experience. So uh, offensively, it should be an exciting bunch. It's always interesting with your squad. Now, you can't say this, but I'll say it. When you guys make it to the playoffs, mm-hmm. uh, it, you guys have been truly battle tested. I mean, we talk about, I've talked about the district and how that gets you prepared, but it, you're not playing any slouches in the non-districts either. I mean, it won't wouldn't do you any good if you did. So talk about how your non-district schedule and, and playing those three or four big-time Texas teams in district play has got you ready for the postseason. Yeah, you know, it, there's no question about it. You know, I think, um, you know, a lot of times coaches worry about their record and things like that. And I, I worry more about the team, to be honest. I mean, I, I you know, this is 6A Division One uh the highest level in the state of texas that really cares about football and it's kind of how we approach it and you know i want to put our guys out there like why not play at the highest level why not uh no matter what happens if you win the game great you still have probably been exposed in some areas if you lose the game fine you've been exposed in these preseason games so we you know we play playoff teams and, and it was hard to find games uh, so we're playing Dickinson and then Katie, um, and we couldn't find a week three game. And so these last couple of years, like this year, we're playing East St. Louis, um, who was a state champion in Illinois. Uh, they're coming down athletic team. And then you get to district and, um, you know, all four teams are that make the playoffs are, are quality football teams. So when you get into the playoffs at six and we're division one. Um, I just think it's helped, you know, that, that thing about um, speed of the game and all those things you worry about, it's, it's not a factor. Well, you look at six, a uh, in the Houston area, uh, the playoffs are always, are always top notch. Now you're not going to say this, so I will, but it's usually not as big of a challenge in the first round, but once you get through the first round, the area round, it's you're not you're not you're playing a solid team every time. Maybe talk about some of the players yeah. that you play or some of the teams that you play that you think might be back and and the difficulties that they might uh, th- throw at you because you guys usually get a ridge point at some yeah. point or somebody like that. Yeah, you know it's um, um, region three. I think six A division one uh, region three uh, is typically uh, the district champion or second place team you know, in the, in the, in the playoffs, it's not a third or fourth place team. And it's not a team you just walk through. And then there's some other regions that, you know, you don't play a game till round four and that matters. You know, when you can, when you're totally healthy in round five or four and somebody has had to bang their head for four straight weeks, that's uh that make that matters. That matters. And so, but yeah, I think, um, you know, typically, um, you know, it's either Dickinson that we played in the second round or Pearland or somebody like that who's a quality program and team. And then it's, you know, a Ridge Point or we think one year it was Katie Tompkins. And, 
they all have guys going to college. They all have guys that are committed and, um, you know, then, you know, us in North shore have been at it for the four out of the last six years in the regional finals. So, um, and we know what they are. So it's, uh, you know, when you get out of there, then, you know, it's, uh, it's hard to get there out of this region. Finally, let's talk about how you approach your first North shore game. Cause you kind of look at, you got to look at it in two ways, win or lose. There is a 50, 50 chance. You'll see him again a second mm-hmm. time. Is mm-hmm. there a deal where you can kind of pick up some stuff from that game, win or lose, like, okay, we're going to end up getting them again. Cause I know you had one close game last year and one that wasn't mm-hmm. maybe not as close as you'd like. Mm-hmm. And just talk about how that, that, that dynamic works. Yeah. Yeah. You know, uh, it's funny. Um, in 2016, uh, we played them and uh, they beat us in district. Um, they had Kelvin Chase on and um, we had uh, Sammy Cosme who plays for the commanders and um, Kenyon Green was a sophomore play. You know, he plays for the Texans now. But anyway, they had uh, uh, Chase on over there on in that game and, and uh, they beat us, but he but he didn't have a great game because Cosme pretty much, you know, he, he kind of took care of him. Right. And, and then we found him in the regional finals. And all of a sudden now he's on the other side. He's going to go against the sophomore. Uh, but his, that sophomore was Kenyon Green. So he's <laughs> he's pretty good too. And uh and we beat him in the regional finals. But you know, things like that. They moved him over there thinking well, we're going to put him against the sophomore, not the senior. And, and we do the same thing, you know, things that work and don't work. And that's my thing. I would rather play you early and then, you know, go from there. Like, you know, I know there's some coaches say, well, I don't want to play you if we're going to play you in the, in the, uh, in the playoffs. We don't want to play you in the preseason, but I'm just the opposite. I'd rather play you, get to play you again. Then, you know, you can go off of that. Right. And right. Change things. Yeah, we had a close game and they scored late. Um, basically came back and won, you know. I think it's two evenly matched teams, to be honest. And I think it's been that way for a few years. I think that winner of that game easily could have went and won the state championship, you know. Not easily, but made it uh, th- yeah. was gonna be there, right? Um one year it was we they beat us and then we played them in the regional final and the score was seventy to fifty. You know, I think both teams made adjustments, you know, and I mean, I'm thinking really, we, we, we got a really good team, but we, you know, anyway, right. uh, and then last year, it's, you know, the same thing. It was a close game and it was a close game early in the, in, in the regional finals, 14 to seven. And, uh, we made a couple mistakes. They took advantage and they won. So, yeah, I think it's great. I think it's, um, uh, I think you learn a lot. I, I like doing that, you know? Well, it's certainly great for the Houston fans. They love seeing you guys go at it. If you could play yeah. three times, they'd be watching it. But I don't yeah. know. That, I don't know how that's possible. Unless you, <laughs> for some reason, schedule them in the non-district. As all, it, people say we got to keep playing. You know, we have to play. I said that's all right. They got to play. I'd rather do that. Would you? I'd rather go there. I'd rather play them every year twice. Yeah, I play them twice every year. You know, yeah. if that's what it's, it takes. You know, it's fun. It's a fun deal. We, we beat them once, and I think we're we and the year we beat them in district then they beat us in the playoff. So it's like we're two and – well, they beat us the last three times. So we're, you know, like two and five against them. Right. It was two and two there till just recently, but uh, it's not a bad record. Well, I'm a pr- I'm predicting two more games that you can uh, stack on Perfect. either the W or the L side. Hopefully the <laughs> W side for you get that thing evened out a little bit. Uh, yeah. I, I appreciate you joining us, Coach. Man, this thing gets started uh, in a, next week, actually. Yeah. Uh, and we're I'm looking forward to seeing you guys play, and yeah. we'll be out to several attacks to see the games for sure. Well, I appreciate you having us. Uh, it's uh, it should be fun.